This video is a quick tip on how to identify wing twist and or camber offset between your two main wings. I am by no means an expert in this area, but in recently purchasing a Skywalker 2013 carbon tail with 1900 wings, I discovered the hard way that my wings were twisted. In my maiden flight, the plane insisted on rolling left no matter how I trimmed out the control surfaces. I later discovered that there was wing twist and it was difficult to tell by looking at the wings individually and eventually I figured out how to look at the leading edge in comparison to the trailing edge of each wing individually and then both wings together to understand how the wings were twisted and off camber from each other. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your control surfaces in an up position or at least offset from the trailing edge of the wings. This will allow you to see a consistent surface across the trailing edge in relation to the leading edge. Here you see the trailing edge of the wingtip is aligned with the leading edge near the wingtip, but as you travel toward the fuselage, it's the trailing edge is lower than the leading edge. That indicates twist. You can also see that between the two wings, as you raise your head or raise the perspective of the camera, the left wing, which in this case is on the right side of the screen, the trailing edge of that wing meets the leading edge of that wing before the trailing edge meets the leading edge of the right wing, in this case, on the left side of the screen. You can start on one wing and raise your head until the trailing edge meets the leading edge and then peer across to the other wing and gaze back and forth to see the discrepancy between the two wings. I used three different methods to get my wings back in alignment. Uh, one of them I don't recommend and that is crashing. It just worked out to my advantage by luck. Um, the way that the right wing hit the ground, it took a chunk out of the tip of the foam and also it bent the trailing edge up just a tad and apparently it was enough to give me a little bit of an advantage in addition to the other methods that I used. The other methods include shimming and applying heat to the wings while untwisting and letting them cool in the new position. For camber between the wings, you can shim where the wings attach to the fuselage. I did this using multiple layers of duct tape and it worked out well. From this perspective, you can see a much more balanced trailing and leading edge alignment between both of the main wings. And now the plane flies very well.